We're going to use a specific form for a quadratic function that helps make things easier for graphing. And it's called the intercept form. The uh, Either the intercept form or the... Actually, no, it's usually just called the quadratic function and intercept form. <laughs> so what we're going to do is convert this function into intercept form. And we do that by factoring the right-hand side of the equation. And if you need a little help factoring trinomials, there's another lesson on that. I recommend checking it out if you're not comfortable with it. But basically what we're doing is looking for two numbers that multiply to be positive 15 and add to be negative 8. So the factors of 15 that probably are relevant would be 5 and 3. And since we could do a negative of each, and that would multiply to be a positive, and add to be negative 8, that's what we need to use. So we'll end up with x minus 3 times x minus 5 as our factor of this trinomial here on the right-hand side. So then we have y equals that. And what we're looking for are the x-intercepts. So this uh, function right here is now written in intercept form. And we can see right just by glancing at it what the x-intercepts are. Those are the points where y equals 0. So y will be 0 when either one of these is 0, because anything multiplied by 0, no matter what the other one is, if this is 0, they'll both be 0. Anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So our first point here would be x equals 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. And x equals 5 is the other one. 5 minus 5 is 0. So then we have two points already. We know that y equals 0, so there's no up or down and x equals 3, and x equals 5. So we can see that we have two points right here, and we can also tell, based on the fact that they're pretty close together, that we're already pretty close to our vertex, or our turnaround point. The vertex will always lie on the line of symmetry, which is always halfway between any two uh, points that are on the same vertical orientation. So we know that our vertex is going to be at x equals 4. So if we plug that 4 into this function, the original function here, we can see what the y point or the y coordinate of the vertex would be. We'd end up with uh, 4 squared minus 8 times 4 plus 15 by plugging that 4 point in. 4 squared is 16 minus 32 plus 15 comes out to be negative 1. So that tells us there's a point at y is negative 1, x is 4. And that's our vertex, or the lowest point on this up-down parabola. So the parabola is going to do something like that, just a very rough sketch. For the second one, we'll go through it just a little quicker. We'll pull the 3 out first of all, because all three of those have a 3 in them. 3 times x squared plus 2x minus 8. 8, uh, 4, and 2. Got to be a positive and a negative to multiply to be a negative. Positive 4, so our middle term is positive. So we'll get 3 times x plus 4 times x minus 2. Let me change colors for putting on the graph so we don't get them confused. So we have a point at x equals negative 4 equals negative 4 and x equals positive 2. So negative 4, positive 2, which says that our line of symmetry is at 3 well, sorry, 3 over at negative 1. So we put negative 1 in here for x, and we get 3 times negative 1 squared plus 6 times negative 1 minus 24. Negative 1 squared is 1, so we have 3 plus negative 6 minus 24. 3 minus 6 is negative 3, minus 24 more is negative 27. So our vertex then, v, is at negative 1, comma, negative 27, which of course is way down off the bottom of our graph down there somewhere. But that's where the vertex will be, and from that point on, that parabola will go up this way very generally, and this way very generally, but obviously.